In 1939, my mother, Mary Perry, painted and later exhibited at the ACA Gallery in New York City, her oil all for money. My mother, then in her late 20s, worked for the WPA, the biggest section of President Roosevelt's New Deal project. That year, she was employed as a sculpture teacher with the New York City Federal Arts Project. Mary chose the title, All for Money, for she felt the quest for profit was behind fascism, racism, and war. She included in the painting DuPont, Rockefeller, Morgan, and Dulles as examples of American pro-fascists who benefited supporting Hitler, Mussolini, and Franco. In 1937, the American ambassador to Germany, William E. Dodd, had warned, A clique of U.S. industrialists is hell-bent to bring a fascist state to supplant our democratic government and is working closely with the fascist regimes in Germany and Italy. In the painting, Profit is represented by hands cupping dollar bills. One of the arms has a sleeve decorated with stars and stripes. There are additional references to wealth with her inclusion of Wall Street, Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue, and banks. Though there are no references to the Spanish Civil War in this painting, my mother did say she was deeply troubled by the triumph of fascism in Spain in 1939. She felt the war, which lasted from 1936 to 1939, was a testing ground for Hitler and Mussolini. Mary belonged to the New York City Artists' Union, and fellow members Paul Block, Douglas Taylor, Meredith Graham, and Edward Deo Jacobs died fighting Franco and fascism in Spain. She admired Picasso's Guernica, which he did soon after the terror bombings of the city of Guernica in 1937 by German and Italian warplanes supporting Franco. Growing up with this painting, I was always fascinated by the striped concentration figure with a skull for its head. But I was surprised when my mother said she and her fellow artists knew of the concentration camps during the 1930s. Historian Andrew Hemingway did say when Hitler came to power in 1933, camps were set up to torture and imprison Hitler's political opponents. The acting police chief of Munich and head of Hitler's SS, Heinrich Himmler, announced the opening of Dachau as a concentration camp in a news conference on March 20th, 1933. In Germany in 1935, there were jingle warnings. Dear God, make me dumb that I may not to Dachau come. Under and by the side of the camp figure, Mary placed bones. Also underneath the figure is a dollar bill and bodies lying in a heap. Mary spoke of how she and others worried whether fascism could be stopped. 
we, with American ideals, demand that our government shall be returned to the American people who founded it. On February 20th, 1939, 20,000 Nazi supporters packed Madison Square Garden in New York City. Uh, actively fighting for under our charter. First, a social, just, white, Gentile ruled United States. Second. Meanwhile, anti-Nazi demonstrators protested outside. fascism, but the horrors of racism and the disparity between the rich and the poor concern my mother. In the upper part of the painting, there are not only lynch figures, but representations of the Klan, too. While the amount of lynchings in the United States had dropped dramatically during the 1930s, there were still 10 recorded lynchings per year. The black figures on the left of the painting are shown beaten down or on a chain gang, contrasting with the blue figures of the rich partying. The word club is included as a reference to popular New York City clubs like the Stork and El Morocco, which attracted the wealthy and celebrities. My mother spoke of the city's poor, dying of starvation, euphemistically reported as dying of malnutrition. Mary continued to be a social protest artist the rest of her life, I can only imagine what she would be painting were she alive today.